Howdy, y'all. Welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Y'all kick off the shoes and you set a spell, all right? Now here's your host for the show, that old Kentucky boy himself, Mr. Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Beverly Hillbillies Facts and Trivia. Appreciate you being here today's video. Uh, Max Bear Jr., kind of like the Beverly Hillbillies, went from rags to riches. Let's check it out. Before his time on the Beverly Hillbillies, Max Bear Jr. was a starving artist, quite literally. Bear Jr. is best known for his role as Jethro Bodine, but before then he was broke, jobless, and hungry. He was living day to day, and from an unemployment check to unemployment check, 1963 interview with the record, Bayer Jr. said he only had one quart of milk to last him four days. I was two months behind on my rent. My weight had dropped from 210 to 188 pounds, he said. My morale was very, very low. I was out of money and had about had, about had it, he said. I had no car and no wardrobe. It was very rough. I had to sell some of the things to live. I really had to scrounge around. His father, Max Bear, was a famous heavyweight boxing champion. Bear Jr. could have easily followed in his father's footsteps, as Bear Jr. was an amateur boxing champion at Santa Clara University. Instead, he found a passion for acting when he performed in his first play in college, The Male Animal. <coughs> Excuse me. He moved to Hollywood after graduating in order to pursue his dream of acting. Pursuing the dream didn't always come easy. According to the interview, his diet mainly consisted of beans or McCann before landing the role on the Beverly Hillbillies. Bear Jr. and his character Jethro both came from humble beginnings, and in the end, they both ended up living in mansions. I've had some raw deals in this town, and I don't forget the people who tried to take advantage of me, but you can bet your life I'll never be that poor again, he said. Despite the rough start to his acting career, Bear Jr. went on to play his role as Jethro from 62 to 71. According to the article, dozens of actors had auditioned for the role of Jethro, but Bear Jr. was creator Paul Henning's pick. He said he had developed a southern accent for the role. A giant-sized teenager originally from California, then said he learned a southern accent by studying other established actors. I bought albums by Andy Griffith and Jonathan Winters and listened to them by the hour. Uh, the accent I use isn't authentic by any means, but then it isn't supposed to represent any particular section of the country. It's just southern, country southern. I'm sorry. Beverly Hillbillies was able to open many doors for Bear Jr., and it would change the trajectory of his life. He had become a big actor in one of TV's number one rated series. It was important for Bear Jr. to get the role of Jethro. However, he quickly acknowledged that he wasn't the only struggling actor then. He was just lucky enough to get the part at the right time. I know kids who have had it so much harder than I have, Bear Jr. said. Vince Edwards is an example. He waited around for six years before he got his opportunity in Ben Casey. But my year wait. <coughs> Sorry, my year's wait was a long time. I was fortunate to get in the hit show, he said. Otherwise, I might be starving. <coughs> I'm sorry, excuse me, I scratched my throat. Um, pretty wicked. Um, uh, that's losing a lot of weight in a little bit of time. And that's not healthy at all. I mean, especially for a big man like that. Um, thank God Jethro come along. And it bothers me after knowing this that, that he would actually have any resentment towards it at all. Uh, and I know he did because he got typecast, and you know, that's natural, but still, it got you out of starvation <laughs> for crying out loud. That's all I have for you. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Please don't forget about classic rock and country music facts and trivia. Head on over there. Please subscribe. Thank you. Have a great day. God bless you. We'll be praying for you. <laughs>